Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome. I've got a new video. This time I'm taking you on a tour of Springfield, Tennessee. Springfield, Tennessee is the county seat of Robertson County. It is an up and coming, fairly large city in middle Tennessee. Um, a couple other cities that it's close to that are smaller, if you want to be even more rural, is Greenbrier. So make sure you check out my video about Greenbrier, Tennessee. And it's also not far from White House, Tennessee. Also check out my video about White House, Tennessee. Um, those counties uh, are Robertson County and Sumner County that are right next to each other. And I've got several um, clients that are moving into the area there. So it's very exciting to watch those areas grow and expand. Expand. Springfield, Tennessee is only about 30 miles north of downtown Nashville, Tennessee. So if you're looking for a place that's quieter, that um, you can have a mix of historic homes and small homes and big homes, you can also have some acreage. Um, you can have kind of whatever you want in Springfield, Tennessee. Um, there's not too many townhomes and condos and things like that. It's really more single family homes for the most part but it is a great, great place to live. Um, the median single family home, we'll just dive into that real quick. Um, as of the middle of 2022, uh, the median price is 313,000. And you can compare that to the rest of our MLS, which covers a large part of Middle Tennessee, where the median home price is 376,000. Um, so you have a, uh, a uh, lesser, uh, home price if you want to live in Springfield, Tennessee. Um, it has a population of around 18,000 people. Um, the entire county, which is Robertson County again, has about 72,000 people. So about 25% of the county actually lives in Springfield, Tennessee. Uh, one of the great things about Springfield, they have an awesome square. Uh, downtown square where the courthouse is at the center of everything so if you take a tour around the square um, pretty much all of the government buildings and anything that you need related to government services will be there um, on that square you've also got a number of local restaurants in and around the square and not far away you've got the public house as one option which is a gastro pub if you want to check that out you've got the depot bar and grill that's a cozy spot for some upscale fare and drinks there's actually quite a few Mexican restaurants and of course there's several fast food places around um, so there's also a lot of quaint shops and antique shops there's barber shops there's a lot of different things going on around the square um, also when you start to come out of downtown there are a lot of really cute older homes um, that have obviously been there for quite a while there's also some larger homes that are close to the square and as you start to go further out you obviously get more and more out into the country. There's some amazing scenery. There's a lot of agriculture going on in Springfield. Um, pretty much anything you want. Um, there's a lot of fast food restaurants. There's Walmart. There's Lowe's. Um, you know, there's there's a TriStar Medical Center. There's Ball State Community College. Um, there's just a number of things going on in and around Springfield that just makes it a great potential place um, to move to. Also, from an education standpoint there's Highland Crest which is a college campus that offers courses to students who are, who are enrolled in Volunteer State Community College or Austin P State University so Volunteer State Community College has an associate degree program and Austin P has a bachelor degree program so there are some higher level courses that can be taken without having to leave Springfield it also has a greenway that is a scenic three mile hike and bike trail that's going to connect the J. Travis Price Park with the Garner Street Park along the Sulphur Fork Creek. And that's going to wind through the historic preservation district and the square that we just talked about. Uh, the Robertson County Players is a nonprofit community theater, one of the oldest in Tennessee, and it produces several plays and musicals at the historic 800 seat Springfield Middle School Auditorium. 
So one of my favorite places to go uh, to get more information if you want to check it out is a place called niche, N-I-C-H-E dot com. So when you look at that, uh, the overall grade that they give to the city of Springfield is a B minus. Um, you can look on niche.com and you can look at the graphic here so you can kind of get an overview that the diversity is an A. In the B category, you've got public schools, jobs, cost of living, which is a B plus. You have nightlife, and you have weather, and you have commutes. Um, in the C category, you've got housing. I'm not sure how they grade that, to be honest, because um, housing there uh, for single family homes is pretty diverse, and again, the median uh, sales price is lower than most of the rest of Middle Tennessee. Um, outdoor activities got a C plus. Uh, there are parks and greenways and some other things that you can enjoy for outdoor activities. Crime and safety got a C. Health and fitness got a C. So if you're interested in Springfield, Tennessee or any other areas in Middle Tennessee, reach out to me. And I am here to answer your questions, take you on a tour uh, to see different homes that could work for you at whatever price point and areas. Check out my website at notyouroordinaryagent.com. And if you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button button for my channel. I am here to be your real estate resource. I'm not your ordinary agent. I love using my legal and financial background to help you make the best decisions for you.